Hey guys, I am so happy to have you all here. Welcome or welcome back. For this video, I have some really cute, quick and easy spring DIYs to share with you guys. And also this is a Fab Four and Friends collab video. I will share more about that here in a second, but for now, we're just gonna jump right into it. For my first craft, I will be using this cute little garden flag, which is from Dollar Tree. I just started by removing the string off of there and the little tube that's at the top that keeps it, you know, nice and straight. I then used um, two packages of these five gallon paint stir sticks. They come in a pack of three, and obviously I needed four sticks, so I had to use two packages. I just started making a couple of measurements um, to frame you know, around the edges of that garden flag. And I made my measurements and then I decided to cut them off camera for you guys using my saw. After that, I used this special walnut stain color and I just stained every square inch of those pieces of wood. After that, I used my little handheld steamer to kind of get rid of some of those ripples in there because it was folded up in its packaging so it caused it to have, you know, pretty, pretty prominent, um, creases I guess so I just try to get rid of those as much as possible after that I kind of just lined up my pieces of wood and made measurements of where I needed to glue each of the pieces along the sides and I just started at the top and then I kind of just worked my way around those edges I just used hot glue and the hot glue adheres really really well to this garden flag it's just like a polyester type of material so anyways I just made sure to you know glue one piece of wood at a time just so that way I could pull each of the um, sides of the garden flag to make sure everything was nice and taut and nice and straight and just I did the top and then the two side edges and then the bottom after that I took my staple gun and added two staples at each of the corners this helped it to be super super solid and nice and sturdy so my next step was to just flip it over and use an exacto knife to cut off that excess material and this is how it was looking after all of those steps and I decided that you know I want this to be hung on my front door I don't really have a garden or any type of area like that so I really liked the garden flag but like I said I don't have a garden area to put it in <laughs> so I decided it will be hung on my front door so for this step I just marked two little holes and I used the biggest drill bit that I had and made a couple of holes right there at the top I then took out this nautical rope from Dollar Tree as well and I just started by you know eyeballing it and measuring it to the length that like I was happy with I didn't want it to be super short, but obviously not too long as well. So I just kind of measured it until, you know, I thought it was a good length. And I just started threading it through um, from the back to the front. And then once I was happy with the length again, I just tied a couple of knots at the front and then cut off that excess material. And then I just added a little bit of hot glue on those knots just to make sure they weren't gonna come undone. And here is how this one turned out, you guys. So quick and easy, so simple, but I mean, absolutely just so cute. And like I said, I don't have a garden area, so if you guys don't either, this is a great alternative of something you could do with those garden flags instead. So before I get started on my next craft, I do want to mention again, like I had mentioned in the beginning, this is a Fab Four and Friends collab video. Fab Four includes myself, Melissa from All Things Crafty, Savannah with Savvy Crafts with Savannah, and Shayna from Robinson Repurposing. We decided that for this collab, we would each invite a friend to join us. And the person that I chose is Mia with Make It With Mia. She is awesome. She has a really great variety of DIYs that she chooses to do. So if you're not subscribed to her, definitely go check her out see what she's all about hopefully you love her enough to subscribe as well also don't forget to check out all the other girls' videos and channels all of their information is going to be linked down below in my description box so it's easy to find the other women that are joining us for this collab are Nicole from the week's nest Daniela from Danielita AF and Teresa from Our Green Acres and again all of that will be linked down below in my description box all right guys let's get back to it for my second project i'll be using this little like cathedral styled um, plastic decor piece which is from dollar tree i just started by removing that little sign that came on there and then i took my white waverly chalk paint and just gave it like an all over messy coat of paint it definitely didn't have to be perfect i wasn't looking for like pure perfection and like a solid white coat i do have some of the original color still showing here and there and then after that, I took these wildflowers, which are from Dollar Tree. If you guys have not found these yet, you guys definitely should be on the hunt. They are so 
cute. I love the bright, bright colors of them. Anyways, I just cut off a couple of clippings from each bunch and I kind of bundled them together until I was happy with the look. I kind of bundled them on the front and then I took a cable zip tie and just wrapped that around there, looped it through the back, and then cut off the excess piece of that. And then after that, I took some burlap, which is from the 99 cent only store, and I just cut off like a little strip, and that way I could wrap it around the little bunch of flowers. I wrapped it around twice, and then I just glued it onto the back, just to look like it was like a little bouquet of flowers hanging on um, the little window frame right there. After that, I took these little hooks that I've had on hand for a while. I made a couple of marks on the back of where I wanted them to go. And then I just used a really small drill bit to kind of get some holes started so I could get my screws in there. And this is definitely by no means going to be able to hold a whole lot of weight, that's for sure. The plastic is way too flimsy. This is more for like a decorative look or to just hang really, really light things on there. <laughs> but after I had my holes, I just screwed in the screws about halfway. So that way I could glue some hot glue in between um, the plastic on the back of the window and then between the hooks just to make it a little bit more secure <laughs> for the time being. After that, I just took a little small piece of jute twine and I just wrapped it around that bottom burlap part, made a cute little bow, and that was it for this one, you guys. Look how stinking cute! I am absolutely in love with it. I just, I really love the shape of that cathedral window that Dollar Tree has. Seriously, they are stepping up their game with their home decor. But then you have the really bright pops of color with the flowers and the burlap and the hooks just bring everything together. For this next project, I will be using this little galvanized metal container, which I bought at the 99 cent store. It was $1.99, but I thought it was totally cute. And then I'll be using this bow, which is from Dollar General. I got it during um, fall and I just have yet to use it. So this was the perfect opportunity. Also, I am taking inspiration from a piece that I saw on Kirkland's website, which I will show you at the end once I'm all finished. But I just started by taking that bow apart. It was just way, way too big for me. So I kind of toned it down a little bit, made it a little bit smaller. I started out by doing two of the little loops and then two little tails, but I ultimately ended up decided on one, you know, layer of loops and then the bottom, the tails, I was going to dovetail them, but I just like them to be slanted. So I folded the piece and added a little bit of glue to make sure they were stuck together and were super cute. I used the extra jute twine that I wrapped around the middle to tie it around the top of the can. I just tied a little knot in the back cut off the excess strands and then add a little, a little dab of glue. <laughs> Once I was done adding the bow, I just used those wildflowers again from Dollar Tree. This time I just started by snipping off some of the excess from the bottom of the stems, but I left all of the flowers on each of their bunches and I just started adding one bunch at a time. So I started with the purple bunch at the bottom, then the yellow, then the pink, then the blue. That way it kind of had like a, a tiered type of look which I thought was really cool. After that, I just used the leftover sign that was from the cathedral window and glued it right onto the front there, kind of a little bit below the bow. And this is how that one turned out, you guys. How adorable and beautiful is this? Oh my gosh, are you as in love as I am because I think this one is totally adorable. I really love those wild flowers that Dollar Tree has right now. So beautiful. And then that little welcome sign just really brought everything together. And here is my inspiration from Kirkland's. So there's theirs. And that one was how I, you know, my take on it. All right, so for my last project, I will be using this cute little dish towel from Dollar Tree. It says, here comes spring, and I really just love the vibrant colors of it. And I like that like faux wood background. So I just started by you know, cutting the dish towel directly in half, and I'm only going to be using one side of this towel. So I kind of just played around with it, just, you know, eyeballing where I was going to need to cut it. Basically, I was going for more of a square shape, so I wanted to, you know, just see where I needed to make those cuts. So once I had a game plan in mind, I just started by folding the towel piece inwards, just keeping in mind where the image was on the towel. I took some hot glue and just lined one side of the towel right there and then folded it over, lined up the other towel. This is going to become a crease for our little decorative pillow that we are making. I then cut off the bottom piece because you can kind of see the image through, you know, the back of the towel. So you just got to kind of, you know, eyeball it and see where it needs to be cut. So I just cut 
<laughs> as straight as possible as I could across the bottom and I started folding it right side out because you know we started folding everything towards the middle that way when you fold it right side out it has really nice creases on the bottom and then like that crease is in the back of the pillow rather than being on the side or like the front so I folded it you know right side out and then I just took some leftover fluff that I've had on hand. You can cut up a Dollar Tree pillow that you have on hand as well and take out the fluff from there. I stuffed it nice and full, you know, I wanted it to be pretty plump. And then I just started gluing the tops together. I made one glue line on the top and then folded it onto itself to make that crease nice and straight and look more um, clean and like professional. So then once I had that side done, I just flipped the pillow over and did the same thing on the other side. And then I glued two, or I glued both of those pieces together. So that way, once you glue those together, they have that nice, straight, clean line at the top. And here is what we have so far. It's a cute little mini pillow, but we are gonna turn it into more of a decorative home decor pillow rather than being like a throw pillow. So I just grabbed my raw wooden beads that I ordered from Amazon and I used the medium sized beads there's a really good variety in the pack that I have, like super small, small, medium, and large. I just went with the more medium sized ones. So I just strung those on some jute twine until I was happy with the length. I just kind of eyeballed it and, you know, looked at it as I was going to be like, oh, I need more or I need a little less. Once I was happy with that, I just glued the strings on the back, trimmed off the excess pieces of string, and here is how it turned out. How adorable is this? I can't get enough. I actually made another one of these a while back, but I did not get the chance to, you know, make a YouTube video out of it. So I thought this was the perfect chance to show this to you guys. Alrighty, well, it is walkthrough time just to get another glimpse at all the projects that I made in this video. Obsessed, you guys. I love the way these turned out. I kind of was like, I don't know, in my feelings in the beginning of starting this video, I was just kind of like, where, you know, what direction am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? I just kind of was like lost on motivation, but I made the first front door like hanger and I was like, yes, I'm feeling it. Moved on to the next one. Yes, girl, yes. <laughs> so honestly, I really love the way all of these turned out and hopefully you guys do as well. You guys will definitely have to let me know down below which one is your favorite do you love them all is there one that just stands out more than the others do to you and if you're still here leave me a flower emoji down below say hi you know anything also don't forget this is a collab video so make sure you make it around to all of the other girls' videos their information is linked in my description box thank you guys so much for being here for all the love and support and i will see you guys next time Bye.